evidence shows how controlled fires ignited by experienced firefighters can help make our forests healthier and safer. But there's also a lot of misinformation about prescribed burns spreading on social media. CBS News correspondent Dave Malkoff takes us up to McLeod, that small community in Siskiyou County. And that's where experts are sharing the facts about fighting fire with fire. Really need to These firefighters are not here to put out a fire. They're about to start one. Burning almost 100 acres in Northern California near Mount Shasta. Making flames. Yeah. Making good flames. Cheers, brother. With nearly 3 million acres devastated by more than 22,000 wildfires in the U.S. so far this year, these prescribed burns might seem counterintuitive. And when it's done safely and effectively, it's going to change the condition of the forest to a more resilient state in a way that protects communities and our water quality, our air quality, and the beauty of this great state. Instead of flames reaching up through the top of the trees and sparks shooting out and going onto roofs, the flames stay very low to the ground. Lori Weyburn is the president of the Pacific Forest Trust, a nonprofit working with communities to conserve forest and wildlife habitats. So with a prescribed fire, what you're doing is lowering the number of trees to the acre and making it safe for fire to come through as a wildfire. And frankly, it's not a matter of if it does, it's a question of when it does. But Weyburn says prescribed burns are often misunderstood, which has led to misinformation. An analysis by CBS News confirmed found that footage of prescribed burns has been shared online to push the false narrative that governments start wildfires. This video of a controlled burn released by the Sacramento Wildlife Refuge Complex in February 2023 was recirculated on social media with users claiming the real cause of climate change was being caught on camera. This Helitorch video released by British Columbia's Wildlife Service was reshared as supposed proof that the government started the 2023 Donny Creek fire, a wildfire that was actually started by lightning. That's how it started the fire. It's to clean out dead trees. It's rare today, but it used to be common. The native people who lived here used fire all the time to keep the forest healthy. A study published in June by Science Direct states that prescribed burning can reduce the severity of wildfires by up to 72 percent compared to untreated areas. You know, the single most important thing we need to do to help people understand the benefits of fire is talk about it. Ensuring our forests and communities not only survive, but thrive. And the Pacific Forest Trust noted that these prescribed burns are carried out under extremely controlled conditions and have about a 99% safety rate. That means virtually all of these prescribed fires are effective and do not get out of control. And